house. Not only, not only can he break rules, ignore rules, and get down and dirty with the best of them, but this guy is a pretty fine professional wrestler with an excellent amateur background. A tremendous repertoire of holds, knows how to use them and when. The guy's a good wrestler. It's almost unfortunate, really, that he had to be brought here to international wrestling by the brain, Eddie Creechman, because perhaps under different influence, Sheik Ali would be a different sort of individual inside the ring and out for that matter. That was a good forearm by Sheik Ali that put Mike Lupien to the canvas. Look at that, grabbing him by the ears, back him against the ropes and whipping him. Whoa! Big eye backdrop and stopping the head is Sheik Ali as Lupien lies prone on the canvas. Picked up by the Sheik using the hair and there's that phenomenal spinorama move that we have become so accustomed to seeing delivered by Sheik Ali. Again, in very deliberate fashion, picking the opponent, Mike Lupien up. Good snap there, putting Mike Lupien on the canvas. Sheik Ali, I don't know, with kind of a chin lock there, it almost looks like if he turned his arms just a little, it'd be a bit of a sleeper hold as he pulls Lupien out to center ring, utilizing the hair. That's a no-no, and the referee does call for the break, but Sheik Ali can't resist putting in kind of a last lick, laying the knee into the small of the back. Front face lock, looks like he's going for a suplex. He's got Lupien in the air, springing him off the top rope and all the way back to the canvas. Devastating, destructive, and Lupien is prone. It almost seemed to me that Sheik Ali could definitely have pinned Mike Lupien at that point. Now look at this, the standing drop kick. That man weighs six feet, or stands six feet four, and weighs 275 pounds, and he just got Mike Lupien right on the kisser with the bottoms of his boots. A devastating drop kicker. This Sheik Ali, I'll tell you something, has a tremendous repertoire of holds, and he displays them at almost all times. Whipping Lupien, but Lupien coming back, kicking Sheik Ali to the chest, laying a right hand, a second one now, but the Sheik coming back with a good right hand of his own to the midsection. And now, oh, running the laces of his boots along the eye of Mike Lupien. Oh, I tell you, he, he could wind up damaging the cornea, the iris, Inside that eye, I really wouldn't want to be in Mike Lupien's boots right now. Taking that solid forearm in the corner from Sheik Ali, who delivers a second one. Look how deliberate the Sheik is in his movements inside that squared circle. As again, he whips Lupien and greets him in the center of the ring with that big size 12 or 13 right to the solar plexus. Covering him now, and that could have been a three count. Could have been a three count, but no. Sheik Ali chose to lift his opponent off the canvas so that he could deliver that right hand punch and you can see the effect that it's had on Mike Lupien who's on his hands and knees facing the outside of the ring and unfortunately towards the kisser of Eddie the Brain Creechman who I'm sure is very pleased with the work of his man Sheik Ali look at that move waiting till Lupien went by him just a touch and then swinging around laying the boot in to the back and forcing Lupien propelling him out of the ring between the second and top rope and Creechman threatening Lupien outside the ring with that steel cane well nothing came of that however Lupien you can see is very very groggy as he's pulled into the ring by Sheik Ali and that big knee drop puts Lupien to the canvas. Sheik Ali, as far as I'm concerned, could pin Mike Lupien whenever he wanted to at any point now. Whips Lupien, backs off the ropes himself. That very, very destructive flying single leg drop, hooking the leg as he puts the cover in. One, two, three, and did you see the white? That shin bone nailed Mike Lupien right across the chin or the jaw prior to Sheik Ali covering him and scoring the pinfall, one, two, three. Sheik Ali with an enviable winning record here with international wrestling and everywhere that he has competed in the world of professional wrestling. A devastating and dynamic force managed capably, it's obvious, by 
Eddie the Brain Preachman. He is talented. This Sheik Ali, there is no question of that. There will be an awful lot more heard from Sheik Ali as he continues his winning ways here on International Wrestling. You'll see it now as he comes up with that devastating one leg drop, the cover, the hook, one, two, three, and Sheik Ali victorious again. Folks, a special interview now. Wrestling fans, International Wrestling will return to the Kingston Arena Thursday, September the 18th. This coming Tuesday, September the 9th, the Belleville Memorial Arena, you will see a tremendous wrestling card. Your main event pits 295-pound sadistic Steve Strong against the one and only Ricky Martel. On that card, tag team action, the Long Riders, Scott Hogg and Wild Bill Irwin to face Dan Crawford and former international champion Dino Bravo. Dino? Dan, you're facing in Belleville one of the most dangerous combinations in the world of professional wrestling. Scott Hogg, Wild Biller, went the Long Riders. They are dangerous indeed. We've seen that all summer. And, uh, you know, the fact that they know that they did not did, did get those belts. And you see the young man here, half of the international tag team champions. You know, that's an accomplishment by itself. A young, up-and-coming star. Well, right now, he's not up-and-coming anymore. He's an established, he's, he's, a, he's he half of the tag ride. team champion. And the Long Riders here out for revenge. We're in Belleville. I'm proud to be Dan's partner that night. He's like, I know you're gonna try to go out there and try to, to, to hurt him. Well, I'm gonna be watching his back, and I guarantee you'll do the same thing, and you're gonna have a fight in your hands. As far as you, Eddie Creechman, you're nothing but a low-down scum. And if you stick your nose in our business, you're gonna fight out where we come from. Well, Dan, you must be thrilled teaming up with a great yes. champion like Dino Bravo to face your nemesis, the Long Riders. It's a big honor to be with such a man like Dino in the I told him about the long riders, you know, if they're not trying to hurt you, they're trying to cheat you. And Dino, we had a long talk and he told me, I don't have to look behind my back, just concentrate on the guy in front of me. And boy, Thanks, we're in there. I told him what they did to us. You Dino. Find out. Well, wrestling fans, I'll tell you, Tuesday, September the 9th, the Belleville Memorial Arena, Dan Crawford, Dino Bravo teaming up to face Scott Hawk, Wild Biller, and the Long Riders. A lot of action, wrestling fans, and don't miss, don't forget the main event. Sadistic Steve Strong, 295 pounds to face Ricky Martel. Dino Bravo, Dan Crawford to face the Long Riders. 